Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 Beta 1.2. Surprisingly, it's not just a minor update as it includes some new features that I'm going to share with you in this video. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number. It's AP31.240.322.027. And now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the home screen and the app drawer. The first change I noticed when you try to edit the folder name, now you'll see a bigger gap between the keyboard and the folder, which wasn't the case before. And here's a side by side comparison with the previous version. But what's more exciting is the system wide search. So let me show you what's new. You will notice here when I search for something that the results from each app are now separated with their own headers. So for example, I have keep notes, web search, play store, contacts, settings, and so on. When you compare this to the previous version, you will see that things are stacked on top of each other with no headers. Not only this, but we have a small arrow next to each header that will take you to the app itself instead of the search results. So for example, if I want to open keep notes, I can tap on the header, but if I want to open the shortcut, I can tap on the search result and the same applies to all other options. And I think it's a smart idea because if you couldn't find exactly what you're looking for, you still can open the app without leaving the search. Moving to the widget speaker and you will see things are organized differently to save space and a good example is the clock widgets. You will see here that we have two widgets on the same row to save space and I can see everything without scrolling too much. Unlike the previous version, each clock had its own row and it requires a lot of scrolling to see everything. So now it's much easier to deal with. Another good example is the Chrome widgets. You will see here that the Dino and uh, Chrome bookmarks widgets are on the same line, which is also much better. I also found a small tweak in the notifications shade. When you try to uh, modify your notification settings from here, you will see that the floating card is now smaller or narrower than before, and the two buttons at the bottom have a fill color. And the last change I'm gonna show you in this chapter is under settings and then Google. I'm not sure if this new change is related to the update or this is something for everyone, but I got both at the same time, so I thought of sharing it with you. The first change is the redesigned tabs at the top. Now they look like filters. Not only this, but when you go to the all services page, you will see much more options than ever before. It includes pretty much everything related to your Google account or Google services in general. And you will see here sections like settings for Google apps, connected devices and sharing, privacy and security, autofill and passwords, backup and restore, kids and family, personal and device safety, driving, device policy, developer, and other. So from now on, if you are looking for anything related to Google apps or services, just head over to this page. Now let's talk about the bug fixes. None of the bugs I reported in my previous video about beta 1.1 got fixed, but we got some new fixes with this build and here is the list. The first one is fixed an issue that sometimes caused apps to freeze and display an application not responding message, fixed a system performance issue that caused excessive battery drain in some cases, fixed an issue that caused the system settings app to crash when trying to add a fingerprint, fixed an issue that prevented the system back gesture from working in some cases, and finally fixed an issue that could cause the screen to flicker repeatedly. I didn't face any of these issues on my Pixel 8 Pro, but I saw your comments on my previous Android 15 videos. You were complaining about battery drain issues. So if you are impacted, you should definitely consider installing beta 1.2 and give it a try. Now let's talk about the performance and battery. Since beta 1 till now, I didn't notice any difference in the battery consumption on my Pixel 8 Pro and it's as good as the stable version, but I'm talking only about this model. I'm not sure about the other ones. And when it comes to performance, I don't see it as good as the stable version, especially when it comes to the scrolling and animations. I didn't have enough time to test this build to give you a final conclusion, but so far it doesn't feel as good. And some of you requested to do a Geekbench score and I did it. I'm getting 2700 for the multi-core, 1200 for the single core, which is much lower than the stable version. Usually the 8 Pro exceeds 3300 for the multi-core score. So if the performance is something important to you, you should definitely wait for the future builds. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new changes in Android 15 beta 1.2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.